Hey guys, how is everything doing today? It's the Thursday, 23rd April. So tomorrow on the Friday is my blood transfusions just to keep a uh, maintain higher hemoglobin level because my previous transfusion my HP went down to like 7.9 instead of uh, 8. Point something. The previous round before the 7.9 is like 8.1. So I have to come earlier to like build up. If not, it will get like, go lower and lower. And when, uh, when I have low hemoglobin, I feel more tired and sleep more. My appearance, uh, what do you think before uh, blood transfusions? Lately, I've been uh, have uh, a little tanning because lately the weather is very hot. I went for uh, sun tanning in the swimming pool lately. That I'm going to talk about later uh, about vitamin D. But uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about later on the osis versus uh, the topic itself and also in telecemia basically what I want to touch on because on the diet section of my website if you do visit uh, now and then I do some update about the vitamin D that the uh, the essential of vitamin D the benefits ones of it is that it can prevent osisphoresis in telecemia patients on top of the other uh, diseases it could prevent like such as the uh, diabetes and osisphoresis I just mentioned and uh, what what uh, depressions and maybe like some heart disease that I don't know about but mainly uh, osisphoresis is one of the main ones so I'm going to talk about it I, I think I can talk more on the osisphoresis haven't take the time to do one but uh, what is osisphoresis is uh, basically simply surprise it just the, the deforming of the, the bone the bone structure so it's on usually occurs in like you know elderly people when you are over the age of 50 or 55 i think mainly happen in women than in men but uh, i could be wrong but uh, when you are has age above uh, 50 or 55 you will have a higher chance of getting osis versus as uh, it's aging but the osis versus in telecemia is uh, totally different uh, in even in teens uh, like 15 20 they could even get osis versus if, if they are not uh, well treated with their blood transfusion their accumulation they could get osis versus even like 15 or 20 years old so part of it is uh, mainly the is caused by the blood transfusion itself and also the chelation and another part of it is that they do not have enough uh, blood transfusion and uh, chelation that could be another reason because the body worked too hard to kind of like the bone even uh, try to you know maintain and try to uh, sustain the hemoglobin that the patient kept too low so other than the spleen is enlarging the bone is working too hard as well the whole uh, body system in telecemia kind of like struggle to maintain hemoglobin so the bone could be effect, affected as as well so you know uh, my age uh, mid 20s let's say uh, already certain minorities of the patient have uh, osisphoresis I'm lucky enough to have like male uh, osisphoresis because few months ago or a year ago I undergo the uh, kind of bone scan the bone structure test basically they have the I think it's lie down in a, like kind of like the bed then they uh, do some scanning the, by like ultraviolet light or the, those like uh, laser light and diagnose uh, like, like mild uh, degree of osteoporosis which is common uh, for my age group and an uh, telecemia major uh, but so that's uh, for telecemia I'm going to talk about osteoporosis that any age you can uh, you can get osteoporosis uh, in telecemia even at as, as early as teens so some of the early signs of osteoporosis i could give is that i encountered it i gone through so i can give as uh, probably if you do not have osteoporosis let's say you are teens but you can feel like your bone is very light you might be uh, a lot of fats but when you weigh on the uh, weighing machine you feel you st your weight still is lower than someone uh, about the same uh, body weight uh, just because your you know your bone is lighter 
So your bone structure is lighter. That could be early sign of osteoporosis, or you, I don't know. Maybe in the primary school or secondary school, I already encountered like ten or twelve years old that uh, my bone have a lot of sound, cracking sound. So even you just move the finger, can hear tick tick tick, and the feet sometimes walk. Uh, when you walk on the the floor, you can hear the bone cracking sound. That's uh, like. Your bone is kind of in the process of loosened some sort, but that's the early sign they can then note. And of course, the the scanning test is the the main one that the uh, the doctor will ask you to undergo when you reach certain age. Then, if you haven't already go to, then the doctor might suggest you to go for one. That's a more accurately no. Basically, just line the kind of like the, the those standing bed or bed, and that's like. Machine on top, you know, like laser, and after that the result is out in a few days or week time to know that whether you have uh, any sort of uh, osteoporosis. So that's uh, those are the early signs of osteoporosis that I think I do encounter. Though I walk, there's a cracking sound, but uh, the if you do not like take precaution of it uh, before it happens, you will get into like osteoporosis. Now, so you, when you have osteoporosis, you have to start taking like medications uh, and also like exercise, pain here and there sometimes like it's like oh elderly they have back pain, you know the, the waist there, the bone pain, it's all mainly due to the could they have uh, osteoporosis. So if you, some prevention that you can do that uh, I talked about in one of my previous video which is the most uh, important one that I think is your posture when you walk, walk straight when you sleep, sleep, sleep when you sit, sit straight so your backbone is straight so it's going like you know, hunch or what it's not good so I'm sitting straight now I sometimes lazy that is common in most people when they sit down they kind of like hunch the correct way of sitting is actually you have to sit forward on the chair and just you have to you can't be lazy just uh push or spleen your, yourself up that's the correct way of sitting. not lying back and uh, you know leans again the, the back cushion is not the correct way and also exercise regularly you know don't do like heavy sport light sport uh, you know I don't know jogging or any exercise that is good for your bone you know just even like warm up exercise a lot you can do that is uh is helping preventing because uh, you couldn't prevent but you can like reduce the chance of getting at least at least in thalassemia patient and also the calcium is important but I want to touch on the vitamin D because without vitamin D <laughs> you couldn't absorb the calcium uh, anyway into your body so you need vitamin D that I talk about in my diet section on my website the most natural source of vitamin D is from the the sunlight that is going on for thousands millions of years the natural sunlight so the best time to have uh, this like sunlight sun tanning is the morning time or in the evening time when uh, when you are not too exposed to the UV the ultraviolet that could damage your skin and cause all sort of uh, cancer risk so you could like go swimming or just sun tanning be sure to you know wear eyes protective and also like uh, sunscreen or sunwear things like that uh, lotions the uh, what do you call it the sun tan cream the screen uh, or you could do like indoor tanning now it's like quite cheap like 20 dollars singapore dollars around there you could go for like indoor tanning but uh, start from like few minutes and slowly increase if you really want indoor tanning it's uh, safer as in is uh, uh, it it don't have the the risk of like the uv ultraviolet is safe for like anyone though for you to absorb uh, vitamin d and also indoor tanning that i just mentioned that's the two type although vitamin supplements uh, vitamin d do help a little that i'm taking now I'm taking like five days a week it helps help to increase the level up but you still need some uh, like vitamin d uh, in thalassemia so you can look like less pale I went for like tanning a few days, so it's uh, I think less pale than I normally look light before blood transfusion. So uh, 
bit more tan now or normally it's like whitish look like really sick and pale uh, for me so I'm going to touch on things to take note so if you have already osteoporosis, it's too late for you to do anything it's uh, some tips that you could take note is uh, avoid like heavy exercise you know exercise that may uh, crack your bone uh, your rib bone or you know any exercise your leg uh, avoid like soccer or what you can crack your leg or the joint so it's a uh, avoid heavy sports in particular or anything you do even massage you know when you have body massage when uh, the massage you know press too hard you could crack your rib bone for normal person they they might not they might uh, be normal but because of, of your osteoporosis the bone can easily crack so it's uh, things to take note and also take your medication and do like exercise have a good posture bottom to up you know sit uh, walk sleep uh, in the correct posture that could uh, help to minimize the chance of getting worse so that's basically want to cover up the uh, osteoporosis telling you um, some key points uh, what is that osteoporosis in telecimia about I do not have but I hope to have a good uh, at least the, the prevention accent that could help my to reduce my chance of getting uh, osteoporosis in the future and for thalassemia come for your blood transfusion regularly uh, because that's the key point of preventing osteoporosis and also your correlation is important so that's basically it i hope you have a great day take care